Today is a very exciting day. We are picking up my car right now that I've been waiting months for. I, uh, I just got confirmation that it's at my house now, so I'm like jetting over there to get there fast. I'm gonna see it here pretty shortly, and uh, yeah, very excited. All right. Okay. How exciting. I'm so excited. Time to get it pulled off. Oh man, we've been waiting for this day for a minute. Finally. I'm so excited to build this car. There's something quite special about it too on the inside, so I'll be showing you that here in just a second. Sounds so good. Alright, let's go watch it get unloaded real quick. It's cold out here, dude. All right, so as you guys can see, it is just, it's an A90 Supra, uh, but it's not just any A90 Supra. It has something pretty special about it, which is the one reason why I bought one, because at first I wasn't really looking for these, but it's this. Six-speed manual transmission. It's the first year that they made them. Um, so as to be expected, I know that these cars are gonna kind of have their quirks here and there. The model just came out with the manual, so of course there's gonna be things, you know, to expect. Most of you guys already probably know it, but I'm going to kind of just give a basic rundown. So, these cars come with the B58, um, the twin, sc twin scroll turbo B58. I forget exactly how the turbo set up, but it's bone stock. The only thing that they had done to it, I think it's called an AWE exhaust. Super, super simple powertrain, um, and it's pretty much perfect on what I want to use it for. All right, so good morning. Today we're going to be uh, kind of picking up where I left off. When I originally picked up the car, which is like a couple days ago, I was uh, I pretty much left work to go grab it. And I wanted to like do a ton of videos and drive it and get my honest opinions, but I didn't really have the time for that. So today I'm gonna to be doing a lot more in depth about what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And uh, just kind of, you know, going over what I didn't really get the chance to go over the other day. So I'm gonna get into more driving clips, um, give you my honest opinion. I wish I did it the first day I got it, but it is what it is. I was busy, I couldn't really get the chance to do it, so I'm gonna do it today. Um, yeah, I've never really filmed a video like this before. Normally I just do like little like 15 second videos on my TikTok, uh, which will be down in the description, so you can kind of check those out, see my previous build. Um, but yeah, enough of this, enough of the talk, let's get into it. Uh, I'm gonna hook up my GoPro right on the windshield and give you my honest opinion about how I like driving it. All right, as you can see, we're now in the car. Um, kind of gonna be driving around giving you my honest opinions. Uh, so let's just dive right into it, let's start it up. So it's pretty much stock. The only thing that the previous owner did before me was uh, he put an AWE, I don't know if it was a cat back or just a muffler, but it sounds really nice. It's hard to make a B58 sound bad, right? But it does sound really nice, it's not too loud. I'm pretty sure the downpipe stock. <laughs> So I'm sure if, if you've looked at reviews or people who have driven these cars, specifically the manual, kind of a common thing that everyone says that it's, the transmission's super notchy in the best way. It feels amazing. Like compared to other manual cars I've driven, like a lot of BMWs, for instance, like the newer ones, they feel very, very rubbery. Um, this one feels very notchy. Toyota did their own thing with it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they took the tranny out of the Z4. 
could be wrong, the manual one out of the 2.0 or something, they took it, they fine-tuned it, did their things, and it's, it feels incredible. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't think what I said was right. I think it was something like along those lines. Before this car, I had a DCT F82. Driving-wise compared, this feels much, like, very similar to, uh, not that car, like, really at all, but very close to, like, an M2 competition, like the F87s. It, it, obviously, it's a smaller car. It's, it's incredibly nimble. But, yeah, it's, it feels super light. It, it's bone stock, so I haven't really, you know. Driving around on a day-to-day -day basis, it's incredibly comfortable. Um, I'm not the biggest guy ever. I'm only 5'8". I weigh, like, 155. So I'm not tall. I know taller people like have a really tough time getting into the car, but thankfully since I'm not super tall, it's, it is very comfortable. Drives great. Down the road, I, I do want to tune it and get more power out of it, but if someone could help me out, I, I see there's a lot, a lot of headaches that can go into tuning on this ECU because it is locked from factory. From what I've seen, the 2023 ECUs on these A90s are very finicky. So I definitely need to learn a lot more about that because I don't really know much about it. I've just seen TJ with his car, he's kind of having issues here and there. Overall, I think this is going to be an extremely fun car to build. I saw that people had issues with the wind buffering and I kind of played it off. I was like, it's probably not that bad, but holy f sucks. It is pretty bad, so I gotta get that little plastic piece to uh, make that go away. That's the only real complaint I have about the car. I love everything else about it. All the things that I kind of find as like little inconveniences are the same things that a lot of other people say. Uh, like how the rear hatch, you can only open it with the button on the driver door or your fob. They don't actually have a, a button in the back, but I mean, that's really not that big of a deal. Oh, another thing people say too is that the uh, the seats are really uncomfortable. I think luckily because I'm not the biggest guy ever. To me, I actually really like how they feel. One other thing I really like about this car is how like BMW the interiors like, and I love that because I love how BMW does their interiors and it really feels like they did not cheap out on the interior of this car at all. It feels really well put together. It's uh, and I'm a huge fan of the iDrive with it having Apple CarPlay, it just, it's so convenient, it's easy, um, and it's not like outdated or anything. Some some interfaces feel like kind of outdated. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, when you spend this kind of money for a sports car, you're a company with a very nice interior, which is huge. I have no complaints about it. The only thing I will upgrade in this car is probably the sound system, just to make it sound a little bit nicer, closer to like Harman Carbon. Maybe there's like a bad sound upgrade. I'm probably gonna do that if there is one get to the freeway here in just a second so we can actually finally open it up. I've kind of just been driving around like my town. This exhaust sounds incredible. The AWE, I'm, I'm going to be pulling it off, but for the meantime it sounds amazing. I know it's hard to make a B58 sound bad. They naturally just sound really, really good, but this exhaust sounds great. I'm not sure if the, the downpipe is stock or not, but maybe that is affecting it. The auto rev match is so convenient for a day-to-day -day basis. However, Toyota did the transmission. They did an amazing job. It feels incredible. Oh, shit. Surprising amount of traffic is out today, being a Sunday, but... I don't know if you can hear the exhaust not through the window like I can. I have no idea how good this mic is, but it sounds amazing. I bought one. I'm happy I also did not drive one before buying it 
because it made the whole kind of uh, experience very uh, like not surreal. That's a little bit dramatic. I don't know. I'm gonna be filming here pretty soon about installing one of the parts that's already on the way for the car. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to that. I've been wanting to make YouTube videos for a very long time. I'm glad that I did like TikTok videos and stuff of my, uh, my M4. But I feel like the timing is perfect for the Supra. And for this build and for like the whole vision of everything I want to do. I feel like it's like perfect. But if there's anything you're interested in besides me installing parts to anyone or whoever is watching this video. I'll have like my Instagram and my TikTok down below so you can reach me there. Instagram is pretty much the easiest way because I'm almost always on it, which isn't good, but whatever. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to filming more videos. This should be a good time, and uh, whoever's watching, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.